Hey guys, how's it going? Jason here for the love of tractors. And this video is going to be completely pointless. It's actually just going to be me kind of, uh, oh, cleaning up my display, if you will. And so I'll kind of give you some, uh, I don't know, behind the scenes looks? That sounds good. Like, yeah, behind the scenes type stuff. So I did this video of my harvest crew a week or two ago, a couple weeks ago now. We've been super busy with harvest, so the videos are pretty few and far between right now, and I apologize for that, but winter's coming, so, um, anyway, <laughs> so I need to clean up this display, that's just all there is to it, um, I mean, it's, it's a nightmare, I was putting stuff together for nationals because a buddy of mine's gonna sell some of my stuff, um, so on and so forth. I had some other people interested in some items, so I was taking pictures of those. So you can see, it's, it is a nightmare right now, obviously. So, um, I guess first up is we're going to get rid of these trucks. Not all of them, but some of them. And they're going to go down here. And uh, as you can see, this is a mess. Some of these are going to go out to my office, actually, because I don't use them here on the display. But... Um, you know, is what it is. Alright, let's see. Let's get rid of you. You. So I kind of sometimes store those on top of the hopper. Just uh, extra room. And like I said, it's it's a mess here. We've, <laughs> some of you, excuse me, may know, been doing remodeling on the house. <sighs> Just everything's a mess. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to take this Kenworth. So I'm still hunting for another Black Pete 379. I may just have to paint it myself. I just buy one and then paint it. But, you know, whatever. It's easy to do. So, alright. That stuff goes there. Don't need this right now. Hmm. He can go down here. These shelves, believe it or not, were organized about a month ago. I don't even know why I have that. Oh, big header. I'm going to need that. Because what I'm going to do next is switch over to Harvest, obviously. Um, being Harvest and all. Alright, let's see. Anybody want a dusty uh, Case IH tractor that uh, the wheels sort of pose, but they don't really turn? I don't know. Kind of turned out grabby, huh? Same way with these. These are just sort of here right now. I have a buddy of mine. He's working on a really nice, um, oh, what would you call it? Chemical center, I guess. <clears throat> so um, those those tanks that I've sort of bought and fixed up, they're going to be useless soon. All right. 7088, so that's going to go on the bean header soon. 9120, same thing. I have another 7088 I'm thinking about using instead of this 9120. Um, let's see, gosh, I mean, this is left over from spring. Um, Alright. Wow, that, that, was, that was shaky cam happening here. Huh? Let's just set that down on its tripod. So I guess the question is... Where are we going to put these trucks? we got to get rid of this Steiger. Nice offset disc. That's scratch built. You know, I know I do a lot of uh, 3D printed stuff now, but I mean, you can even see I did, you know. <laughs> I mean, I realize it's nothing fantastic, but I don't know. I always thought it turned out pretty cool. I've, I've always liked it. And then my, uh, you know, big, uh, what is that, 2200 Steiger. I've got some rumors that there may be some more of these coming to my display soon. Pretty excited. <laughs> my goal is to co is to collect or build, if you will, one of every Steiger ever made. So we'll see. That's obviously a long-term goal, but um, that's what I want to do. Wish esque disc, wish whatever. That's made by Jacob Larson. Pretty awesome stuff. He's a he's a heck of a builder. <laughs> Just to put that, uh, frankly, one of the guys I certainly look up to. He's a lot younger than me, too, that little devil. <laughs> but he's uh, he's very good at what he does. I also believe he likes Steiger, so hey, I've got that in common, too. Uh, here is a 9390. The cab comes off, so you can stick a dude in there if you want. That is, uh, so that's, this, this was scratch-built rear end, scratch-built hood, 
the sides are off the scale model, the main frame is off the scale model. So, <clears throat> all right. So, I think the place to put these two peats, like they're waiting to fill up, is over here. And let's just put him off into the grass a little bit. Let's have let's have that static grass kind of up around his tires over there. We think that's cool. And same thing. I've got some I've got quite a bit of work left to do on this display, and I hope to get it done this winter. As done as I'm gonna get it. It'll never be done done, but you get the idea. So, it's leaning a little bit. I don't think I'm quite on the uh, fifth hitch there. There we go. So then, uh, I'm going to take the quad track. Now I realize I've got the tarp on that, but those, honestly, those, uh, those, those uh, DCP hoppers, they look goofy with the tarp off of them because they don't really roll. So whatever. This guy. So you think of that. That looks pretty cool. And then maybe... Let's take our uh, 7088 here. We say we've been combining some beans. And then, oh yeah, the hopper doesn't fit because, because Ertl. So, so that's a replaceable thing. Obviously you can get one that, that uh, goes up. So the field, the, this field is going to be completely redone this winter. Fingers crossed. Anyway, it's kind of a fun little scene. Obviously no beans there. I know a lot of guys have mini displays for that. That's sort of on my to-do list someday. Um, you know, in a perfect world, I'd have a lot more room. <laughs> and um, But this is in a perfect world, so is what it is. And there is what the other big guy looks like. Now, obviously, he's not going to sit there because that kind of looks stupid. But, um, yeah. Anyway. Ooh, header came off. Man, that is a big header. Still waiting on some Macdons. <laughs> and I'm just I'm just gonna say that in case the guy making them hears this because I'm gonna I'm gonna hound him about them because that's just who I am. <laughs> so anyway, so we're like seven minutes in. I did a little cleanup here in this area. I've still got a ton more to do on the rest of the display, but I thought you guys might like to see uh, you know, just whatever. Doing <laughs> setting up a little harvest scene here, so all right, I guess, since I just got a battery low message, <laughs> that will do it. Eh, you know, field set up kind of to the, to the best of my ability right this second. So anyway, hey, post below, uh, what are you harvesting with on your model farm display? I'd love to hear that stuff. I always, uh, you know, I love toys, so there you go. Hope you guys have a, a great year. Happy toy hunting, and uh, hopefully the next video comes a little quicker.